Okay, so in this section, um, we're going to talk about how these two interact. Uh, so the modulation oscillator is sort of hardwired to interact with the complex oscillator in a lot of different ways. Um, so we're going to start with just hearing the complex oscillator. Uh, so there's our nice triangle wave. As we turn up modulation, we have stuff happen. So now the modulation oscillator, I've got this set to AM, so it's doing amplitude modulation of the complex oscillator. And as we change the frequency, chasing <laughs> okay so something to be aware of you know um, also we can switch to sort of the LFO mode you hear you know low frequency frequency modulation um, maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing thing um, the thing I do find interesting here is can kind of hear the square wave isn't an, an exact square wave. There's some shape to it. There's the ramp. Um, you know, AM can be pretty useful in this situation. So there's our nice, you know, LFO mode changing the volume of this sequence. Okay, so there's some ideas. <clears throat> also, when we get way into this, um, you know, the um, Buchla sort of lives and dies by its cross-modulation. There's so many unbelievably complex sounds you can get out of this. Uh, so let's do a for example. Um, here we're hearing just the modulation oscillator, and as we turn up, I've got the complex oscillator running back into frequency mo um, modulation input here. As I turn that up, we get some nice interference. If we turn the timbre up, we get wild stuff. <laughs> um, so. The opportunity here is that we can um, basically change the way this is interacting. So, actually, I'm going to pull that up. All right, so I've got a sequence running into the pitch here, and I'm a random assigned to the timbre of the complex oscillator, which is then folding back here. here is try stuff. Um, that's the most basic way to put it. Um, the way these two interact is always a little bit unpredictable and that's sort of the beauty of the Buchla and hopefully why you bought it to begin with. So I hope that helps.